Hey guys, today is November 30th, 2019. So tomorrow begins December 1st. And I have to say that I believe December is going to be the most eventful month in the year 2019. With things only progressing in 2020. Some of my biggest dates are in 2020. Um, but in this video I want to talk about the 1st, the 3rd, and the 5th of December. Um, so I have some other dates in December, but I'll make another video after the, the 5th passes. See what happens. Uh, right now we are in the Chinese Year of the Pig. And IPAC Go, abbreviated and rearranged, equals pig. Uh, so I think it's likely that we're going to see the kickoff for some larger events still to come uh, in the year of the pig, which ends soon, ends on January 25th, 2020. Um, IPET Go equals 93, 39, 123, and 42 in the base cipher, four base ciphers taken from chamatronator.com. These are when you change letters to numbers. So, um, the 93 has association with tomorrow, the 1st of December. It's 9-3 on the Hebrew calendar. It's Kislev 3, which equals 3-3 three, three, or 9-3. So their biblical calendar began on Nisan, or Nisan, however you say it. Uh, and their current calendar uh, begins on Tishri. So the ninth month down, or the third month down. But both 3-3 uh, three, three and 9-3 are very important numbers. Thir 33 being associated with Freemasonry. Uh, 93 uh, being associated with Saturn and the Sun. Uh, 93 million miles away, the Sun. Saturn equals 93 in Gematria. Uh, one of the Trade Center Towers on 9-11 was hit at 9-03. Uh, there was Flight 93 that crashed in Pennsylvania on 9-11. So. so looking at the IPAC GOAT video, you see George Bush wearing the dunce cap, but the letter D could be a reference to December. As you see, it's all white, uh, which can be referencing snow. There's an obvious snow theme throughout the whole video. Right here, there's a snowflake. Um, if you've seen this video, you know that the clock shows 12 o'clock. And it could be a reference to the 12th month. Also, the hangman right here. Uh, when looking at a tarot card, the hanged man, you can see it has the number 12 on it. It's a 12th trump card in the, the tarot card deck. So, December 1st is a day leaving 30 days remaining in the year. And this right here, the property of the number 30, it says it corresponds to the 12th arcane of the tarot, the hanging. So, very interesting. Um, and even when you type in the word hang in Gematria, you get 30. When you type in the word hanging... In reverse full reduction you get 30 so and that's what I wrote here the Gematria for that so when you reverse 9-11 2001 you get 1002119 and often in numerology you can omit the zeros uh, when you do that you're left with December 1st, 2019, 12 1, 19, written in short form. Tomorrow will also be 911 days since the first London Bridge attack in 2017. Uh, of course, we just had the London Bridge attack. 900 and, it was 909 days right here which is equal to 303 times 3. And that was on the 30, 333rd day. We also have an eclipse connection that passes over the UK, the whole Middle East. Uh, 
it will be two years, three months, and 20 days. A 322 connection number I always talk about from an eclipse, a total solar eclipse on 8-11-1999. You hear, I believe the eclipse path is important. Uh, correlating to events. But it also connects to the 2017 eclipse when you include the end date. It's 119 weeks away. So looking further, I noticed that it just happens to be 1,911 months and 11 days. 9-11 connection to the NFL and December 1st is on a Sunday. Uh, so will anything happen uh, correlating with the NFL during a game? I don't know. I'm just Often when I see... Uh, when I try to look at something like an event that happened, uh, I, I see many different things connecting to it. But um, So the Statue of Liberty, uh, I found this really interesting. It was dedicated on this, uh, October 28th, 1886. And the time difference is 48,611 days, which equals exactly the 5,000th prime. So, and on March 7th, 2017, the Statue of Liberty lights went out. And that's exactly 999 days from December 1st, which is an upside down 666. Another marker point that I use is the 2016 supermoon. It was the largest since 1948. Uh, I've connected uh, many different things to the supermoon, uh, including the London attack on November 29th, 2019. Three years, two weeks, two days apart. But to December 1st, it'll be 1113, matching its 1113 days apart, matching the date of the supermoon. If you look it up, it actually says December, I mean, it actually says November 14th, but um, I think it began on 1113, so the, the two days, so. That was also connected to the Vegas shooting, 322 days apart. And lastly, December 1st is 1118 on the Julian calendar. And 1118 is the 322nd day of the year. Alistair Crowley actually died on December 1st, 1118 on the Julian calendar. Uh, Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Illuminati, died on 11-18. So, so, now I'm going to focus on December 3rd. And there's another obvious reference, the LC and IPET GOAT 2 equals 12, 3. L equals 12 and C equals 3. <clears throat> I made a video about 37 and 123 because upside down C equals 7 C equals 3 and we have the 7 3 7 So here we are with the eclipse connection again So the 2017 eclipse the 12 3 is 119 months and one day apart. 9-11 to the, to the same eclipse, as you can see, was 191 months and 10 days apart. There's been a lot of talk about the Abraham Lincoln, the USS Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier. Something happening to it. There's been a lot of people predicting it. So when I looked into it, I see that Abraham Lincoln equals 123. The day it was commissioned, 11-11-1989, to 
to 12-3-2019 is 30 years in 22 days. 322 Connection The Abraham Lincoln submarine was decommissioned on 228-1981 to 12-3. 2,022 weeks and 3 days. Three, another 322 Connection. The movie Titanic on 11-1-1997 the 12-3 was 22 years, 32 days apart. And Gematria, aircraft carrier sinking, equals 123. And this will also be connecting again to the 8-11-1999 eclipse. 20 years, 3 months, and 22 days. And that eclipse passes over the area in the general vicinity of the Straits of Hormuz in the Persian Gulf, where the Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier is. So, so I always talk about planetary alignment, supermoons, eclipses, great conjunctions, important marker points, and this is 1,091 weeks and one day apart from the 2040 Great Conjunction. So, so now I'm going to look at December 5th. What December 5th is, it's Kislev 7. I see it immediately 3-7 being important. Um, cyber attack and the second cipher in reduction is 37. 12 plus 5 plus 20 plus 19, another way of figuring out the numerology of the state, equals 56. Power outage equals 56. So the supermoon that I just mentioned earlier is 3 years and 22 days apart from December 5th. Looking back in history, this supermoon to the date that the Statue of Liberty lights went out on 3-7, cyber attack equals 3-7, um, is 3 months and 22 days. To the Venezuela nationwide blackout on 3-7, uh, the supermoon was 2 years, 3 months, and 22 days apart. The largest blackout of the year was 32 months and 22 days prior to the supermoon in Indonesia on August 4th, the 216th day of the year, which is 666 equals 6 times 6 times 6. There's actually a, a massive cyber attack uh, across Europe and the U.S. on June 27th, 2017. And there was even a story about a U.S. power plant being breached. So, and the time frame is two years, 23 weeks. Now, if you look at Chernobyl on 4-26-1986, the 12-5 and you reverse the dates. That's when you put 12-5 over here, 426 over here. It equals 32 years, 20 weeks, and 2 days. Another 322 connection. This is a reverse of the WannaCry vir virus blamed on North Korea, which happened on 512, this date being on 125. Darkness in Gematria, the third cipher, is 125. But also, as I said, there can be many different things connecting. Um, plane crash equals 56. And as I said, 12.5 has a numerology of 56 here. Airplane crash equals 125. And if we look back to the Southwest Airlines engine exploding, which resulted in one death, um, that was two years, 
232 days. So I'm definitely looking at some things to happen on, in this time frame. So, so we'll see what happens. Um, things are going to be accelerating. Uh, this One of these dates that I just mentioned here could be a kickoff event for something big. Um, it's always hard to know the extent uh, of how large an event will be, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll talk to you next time. Take care, guys.